Hello my people, welcome back to my channel. It's time for the uh, the second ride. Ooh, and uh, this is that uh, late night where I'm getting in my 90 minutes uh, late in the evening. The time is now 11.01 p.m. I'm clearing out the machine. I noted the time for my last ride. We are still listening to the sounds of the book. And I'm going to get started here. And uh, I'm going to switch the sound to uh, the ocean waves. And chill out with that for a little while. And you know, I just smelled something in the kitchen. Um, I made, when I had dinner tonight, when I had dinner tonight, <laughs> I made the coffee and I made it late. So I decided I was going to have my coffee after dinner opposed to um, with dinner. And I never got to it. It's still <laughs> this is how off this is how off track I have been all day. And I say off track, but I'm really not off track. I'm behind. But uh, off track, in my opinion, means you weren't able to do the stuff that you were supposed to do. I, in this day, am taking care of the last thing that I was supposed to take care of, aside from that laundry sitting in that bathtub. <laughs> Which I'm just going to drain the water on. <clears throat> but, um... This ride is, this exercising is the last thing that I have to do today. So I'm not really off track, I'm just behind. And uh, I've taken all of my medication. I've been really good about drinking my water. And I was saying that in the last video, that, um, since I'm doing my 90 minute ride at this late hour and I need to lower my voice although they don't care what time they start stomping but I was saying that in my uh, in my last video I was saying that uh, what was I saying that I'm not going to change the tension I'm not going to go up and down I'm just taking it easy on the bike, staying at attention to six, and enjoying the sounds coming from my sound machine. And, uh, yeah, I'm usually late, up late anyway. I like to head off to bed at a reasonable hour, but I don't really usually, I don't usually get to do that because I have to pick and choose between where I'm going to be seated. I'm going to spend the night based on the fumes that enter my unit from other units. <clears throat> and for anybody who um, has, a, for the people who have been following my videos, who have been wondering, you know, uh, why can't they do something about it? the fumes in your unit. Today, patience, patience, patience. Today was the day. I made the phone call and I made it at the right time. And I got the right person in the leasing office. And it was a member of management. And they came over while I was experiencing pure hell up in this unit. And they smelt it. They smelt it. I said, unfortunately, can't really tell you where it's coming from, but yes, I do smell it. And they offered me a bit of a solution. And uh, can't tell you anything about that. But finally, it has been confirmed that this unit is receiving drug fumes. Drug fumes drug fumes plain and simple so we have established that I passed that information on to my case manager 
she pretty much said the same thing. At least now we know that the leasing office is aware of it and a member of management has experienced it, has experienced it, detected it for themselves. So now we have that and it ain't nobody denying it. And uh, when I went back to the leasing office, um, even more people at the office are aware of the situation in here, this particular unit, with the fumes. So it's not any information that that person kept to themselves because we are all trying to find a solution. So that, my people, is progress. Thank God for that. That is progress. So, that's all that I can tell you on that. Uh, I don't know how things are going to uh, turn out. I really don't. I really don't. But I don't feel alone anymore. I don't feel like, you know, nobody thinks... I don't feel like um, people think that I'm left of center and that I'm just, you know, exaggerating anything and that, you know, it's not as bad as they say it is. And when it came, people, when it came, I started dialing. I started dialing. Because I really got very sick this time. And I started dialing. And I said, somebody gonna find out about this. And so what I did was, because it was knocking me down, and I had to go outside. So I, I decided to do something, and I turned the heat on. I turned the fan on. You know how you switch it to auto, or you can switch it to on? I put that thing on. on. And then I turned the heat on, because it was cold anyway. And I opened every vent. And I made the call. And I knew that when, and they didn't skip a beat. They said, I'm on my way. They didn't skip a beat when I called. They said, I'm on my way. And it was lit. It was lit. And I just stood back and I said, you can enter any room, open any door, turn on any light. I just need you. to um, try to figure out where it's coming from. And I'm so glad that I thought to do it. I'm so glad. I feel like God was instructing me. I feel like God had everybody in the right place at the right time is the way I feel. Um, what can really be done? I don't know. Um, but there's no longer any doubt. There's no longer any suspicion. There, there's no longer anything for anybody to question because <clears throat> It was detected by management. It was discussed within the office. Um, case manager knows, plain and simple. Members of maintenance are aware, plain and simple. So my case manager was like, so now at least they know that it is actually happening and there is no doubting what it is you have been saying. She said, so we got that off the table, so that's a good thing. Now we just have to wait and figure out and pursue how long it's gonna take for this person in particular that is supposed to be leaving by the end of the month to be gone and see if that solves the issue and if not then we know 
There's another direction to look at. So I need to slow it down. Anyway, I got that out there. I need to go to the ladies' room. Plus, I need to grab a bottle of water. And, uh, pedal a little slower. Their stuff is coming through. Because when their stuff comes through, I feel like my pressure is going up. And my pressure is not going up. My sodium intake today has been very low. I have been doing a lot of exercising. I have been taking my pills. And uh, my pill for my blood pressure. And uh, yeah, everything that I'm feeling right now is everything that goes along with when the fumes start coming. And this is what hit me earlier today. And I had to exit really quick. And when I came back in, I was knocked down by the fumes. Because I told you, a lot of times you can't even smell it. Their recipe, the stuff that they smoke, the stuff that they cook, um, it's changing all the time because they'll, they'll, they'll use whatever they can get their hands on. <clears throat> so I'm starting to feel some of what I felt earlier today. And it makes me hot. It makes me hot. It makes me feel like my head is this big. Um, makes me, my brain feel weird. Um, but what happened today was I felt like I was shifting inside. I was sitting at the table and it was like the earth moved under me. And I was like, oh. I uh, imagine it would be like, what I felt would be like being in one of those earthquakes where they say, there was actually an earthquake today, but a lot of people weren't aware of it, but it, it, there was a shift. And uh, I remember that happening one time in New Jersey. And uh, it was like that. I was sitting at the table, at the computer, and I felt like I just went, and it was around that time. And I had felt like that a couple of times throughout the day. And I didn't know what was going on, because that was different. And I thought, do I need to go to the hospital? Do I need to go to the hospital? So, um... And then when I got outside, it took a while for it to clear up, and I stayed, I stayed outside for about an hour and a half. I did. I stayed outside for about an hour and a half. Um... Went to the mailbox. Twice. The mail carrier was there. Went to the leasing office three times. I went uh, to the dumpster once. I stood outside. I walked around a little bit and kept encountering an area where I was smelling stuff similar to where I was smelling inside. Uh, so yeah. I kept coming in to check, and it took me, uh, uh, it, when I exited, it took, the be it, it took, it took about two hours for me to get myself back straight. I was so messed up, and the reason this place is uh, filled with mosquitoes, something kept biting me during dinner, was because I had the windows way open in all the rooms and unless I was at the leasing office or in an area where I could not see the door it was wide open it was wide open I, it was so bad I couldn't and you really couldn't smell it 
it had gotten to a point where you really couldn't smell it, but you could feel it. And it was super intense in the bedroom. Every time I went in the bedroom just to open the windows, I felt like they were going to have to take me out and stretch. And um, so the door was, well, it was too bad for me. To, now I usually stand there with the door and I open and close the door, fanning the room with the door. It was too far gone for that. And I'm going to tell you, I was sitting there at the table and it just snuck up on me. It snuck up on me. And when I went into the bathroom to release the water and refill it, by the time I relieved myself and filled the tub with fresh soapy water, I came out and I I said, okay, I might not. Something is terribly wrong with me. I said, I ain't never felt nothing like this before. And it all depends on what it is they're doing. Their mess is always changing. Their mess is always changing. And so you always feel different. And it's coming in and it's intense. It's coming in and it's intense. So anyway, I still got one window open. And it's... um. Now 11.17. And, and based on the way I'm feeling right now, and I'm just taking it easy with the pedaling, I don't know if I'm going to do the 90 minutes that I originally set out to do in the course of this day, but I'm fairly certain that I will complete my 60 minutes. And I don't know if you have noticed, I've been having a lot of problems with this device. And something is going on with my screen. And no matter how much light I bring in, it's just dark. And I have adjusted the contrast. I've done all of that. I got a ring light there, I got a lamp there. And that lamp back there has three bulbs. I don't know what's going on. The more light I bring and the closet light is on, I cannot get a decent picture, even in the daytime. And this is why this computer ended up being free. It was, when I purchased it, it was new. And I have had problems with it, and I tried to... They put me in touch with the makers of the, of the uh, computer and then something with the, the number on the back of it that they needed <sighs> to the naked eye. Can't read it. Can't read it. And uh, I got pissed off. I was like, what the hell is this? I get a computer with a number on it that's too small to be seen with the naked eye. Um, it's not readable. You sold it to me as new. I couldn't give them anything. I said, well, there's got to be something inside the computer. Um, some section of it that will give me that number that you're looking for. And they said the only way to get it is on the back of the computer. I was like, well, you know. And I did everything that I could. And finally between them and... And I didn't even cause a stink, but finally between them and Amazon. They were like, just keep it and they refunded my money. Because I was like, I can't do nothing with it. And it's just a series of problems with this particular device, which I have had for um, almost three years now. And it is really putting me through it. It's been really putting me through it lately. Not to mention the fact that it has been hacked a couple of times. <laughs> it's been hacked a couple of times. And now what's going on with it is everything is fine for one moment 
and then I look at it, and all of the letters are all messed up. And then it'll come back into focus. And then, when I'm running programs, I'm like, like going to YouTube, use my, uh, my app for doing my thumbnails, and it just, all the letters are almost, uh, I can't even see them. They're just all a series of teeny tiny little lines that are blurry. And then it'll come back. And so that could either be um, what I was experiencing before when people were off, somebody was in the computer altering what I was seeing or it could just be the computer breaking down and I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's uh, a messed up computer and that's why I can't bring enough light to it or if somebody is effing with it and altering everything because you know there ain't nothing but haters out there. You know I got rid of, had to get rid of my phone. That had nothing but malware on it. People are always attacking my shit. Somebody really wants me away from the internet. Man. Really wants me away from the internet. But anyway. What are we? Um, I'm pedaling at a speed of 11.6. Uh, there's stuff going on in my head right now because of what they're doing. And I got a vent right there. And I can't even close that vent. Um, I'm going to have that fixed. I I think it's rather odd. That when I moved in here. Y'all yeah, know all the stuff that I found. right, And all the stuff the maintenance has found. Uh, holes etc. And devices. Tucked away inside breaker boxes. Wiring. Hardwired stuff run into other apartments that required an electrician to uh... I wonder if I move that up that required an electrician to um... to repair this particular vent was stuck you couldn't close it so the rest of them, you can move the little switch, go up and down, open it, close it, aim it the way you want the air to flow. But this particular one is stuck wide open. Okay, so I'm going to go to the bathroom and get a little bit of water. Um, the distance is 4.11. And this is going to be my last ride for the night because something is happening. And uh, I need to get out of this room. So it's been 23 minutes and 3 seconds. I got 7 more minutes remaining. And I'm going to Leave the camera rolling, go to the bathroom, grab a bottle of water, come back and finish up this 30 minutes. And then I'm going to find some place in here to sit to upload both of them. And uh, so today it'll just be um, a 60 minute workout. And by the time I'm finished, I should have gone 12 miles total today. <sighs> let me let it come back around to the distance travel. The distance travel so far is 4.36. So it'll probably be like 11 miles travel today. Opposed to the uh, 18 is too much anyway, but I like doing the 90 minutes where I usually go six plus miles per ride 
about today. Um, I'm, oh, I'm gonna finish this 30 minutes and call it a night. And I'm not gonna view it as a fail. I didn't get in a 90 minute workout. At least not in the video, but remember I told you I was outside for an hour and a half to two hours, so I was walking. Okay, I just detected something interesting. I'll tell you when I get back to the wood. Mm. <sighs> it smells like somebody cooking something. And it's burning. But in the bathroom, I heard a weird noise. I said, that's the first time I ever heard somebody's toilet flush. But when I looked in my toilet, apparently that sound that I had heard earlier was my toilet. Because it was like next to no, the water was all the way down in the hole so whatever it was I heard was happening inside my toilet <laughs> over an hour ago and uh, as I said you know the hole at the base of the toilet bowl the water barely covered came up to that hole so that's what I heard earlier and I just assumed I said, that must be the sound of my neighbor's toilet flushing. I said, which I have never heard before. So I don't know why my toilet made that sound. Because it wasn't clogged or anything. I feel all clogged. <sighs> People, in order to get through this, I'm gonna have to do this. It smells like something is burning. <sighs> and there was a strong odor that resembled formaldehyde in the kitchen. And, uh, 
they kind of turned my stomach a lot. So I just really haven't wanted anything to do with that pot of coffee. And I'm just going to pour it out. <clears throat> because the smell of formaldehyde was coming up. But my coffee was doing its thing. And the smell of formaldehyde is not in there now. I smell my coffee. Um, when I go in there. Oh, Jesus. I just cannot. I don't even smell anything. I don't really smell anything right here. Over there, I smell something burning. There's something weird back here in the bathroom. Right here, I don't really smell anything. But I feel horrible in my head. And I know I'm in the presence of the gases from whatever it is they're doing. This is so sad. Twenty nine minutes and something. Five point three nine miles. <laughs> I would like to take it to six miles so that I will have gotten in twelve miles today. <sighs> Help me, sweet Jesus. And I need to exercise. Every day I need to exercise because what they're doing, the stress of it just raises my pressure. And if I did not exercise on a regular basis, I'm pretty sure my pressure would skyrocket so high that I would probably have a heart attack or a stroke. Oh God. I feel like right now I need somebody to hold my head. Just hold it and keep it from, because my head feels so heavy, it feels like it just wants to go. <sighs> I feel like I need to hire somebody to just hold it up like this. <sighs> mm -mm. And now the headache is coming. Okay. 206.7 calories burned. I know this is pathetic, isn't it? 31 minutes and 20 seconds, but I'm still pedaling. Because I want to reach six miles. I'm at 5.81. It's 11.35 p.m. I'm probably going to unwind for about a half an hour and watch Watch Lucy. You know, every book that comes through this door, I want to start that next. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> because a book came today. I would say a book came today, part of my Amazon wish list. I want to start that too. And I thought to myself, as I just said, I'm probably going to unwind um, after this and watch Lucy while I'm uploading this. And I thought, but oh no, I could read Elizabeth Strauss. <laughs> I'm like, I'm still working on the Burgess boys. And do you know I went to bed last night with, um, even though I'm working on the Burgess boys, I went to bed with the hour I first believed. I never even opened the book, but I had the book right all on it. I have to stop because I used to be real good about what I call being true to the author. You take the book, and I like to be finished with it in a week. Divide it by seven, and read that many pages a day. And uh, don't read anything else. Just be true to the author and stick with the story. So that you will understand what they're <laughs> trying to convey to you. <sighs> I don't know why it is because this book that I'm reading the Burgess Boys it's really very good and uh, I know how good a writer Wally Lamb is and I, I'm just, I just want to know how the hour I first believe starts <laughs> I haven't opened to the first page yet I haven't even read the jacket and then I'm thinking this book is so good the Burgess Boys and I should be finished with it by now I haven't had time and when I sit down with it it's that long before I fall asleep <sighs> because I haven't gotten to that stage there's been so much going on where I am still pedaling there's been so much going on let me stop pedaling I haven't gotten to that stage where I can um, just sit down and relax and you know just read um, I'm still in that zone where I gotta make time for it instead of the time just being available because when the time is just available I usually need to exit the house something is always happening with what they're doing that causes me to have to exit and uh, when I have to exit, that means that what I was doing was interrupted, has been put off. And then when I re-enter, I got to get back to where I left off. And so I end up behind. And all of that exhausts me. and interferes with my sleep and when all of it interferes with my sleep then I fall asleep at some ungodly hour and find myself waking up at like 10, 10, 17, 10, 30 which means I am two hours behind because between 8.30 and 9.30, I should have a meal in me and be taking my blood pressure pill. And uh, so when I start my day at 10.17 because I fell asleep late, because things kept interfering and I had to stop doing what I was doing. The only reason that those clothes have been sitting in that tub, one, because I have been tired, and two, because Every time, it seems like every time I make my way into the bathroom, I'm overcome by the fumes. And it's too much. It's, the pieces are too big. I would be soaking a piece at a time if I tried to do it in the kitchen sink. Low battery charger connected. Okay, so this power is about to go. Um, this charger don't work too well. So anyway, I'm going to end this video. And, uh... Let me...
Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, you heard the sound, right? Okay, so I ended at at 34 minutes and 49 seconds. Uh, I don't know what this is right here. It's on the other side too. 6.43 miles. I told you real life over here and life happens. Stay safe. Remember to give someone hope today and every day because it's a very easy thing to do. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everything. I'll see you guys in the next video. I said 6.45, right? Because I got to put that in the title of this so I'll remember what to put on the upload. Yeah, 6.45. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Time is 11.41.